Hello everyone, welcome to 5 minutes practical programming tools. For this video, we continue to discuss about the MPI Cartesian. We will discuss how to calculate the neighbor sales for a specific cell in a mesh. Why this is necessary operation? For example, one typical operation for numerical computing is the sequential operation. We will use this to solve some PDE, namely the partial differential equation. It doesn't matter if this is a new term to you. The important thing here is that the value in a specific cell depends on the neighbor cells in numerical computing. We assume the value is located in specific cell. In real use cases, the value can locate on a point or on an edge of the cell. If we assume each MPI process holds a value in specific cell, and each cell is associated with an MPI process. For the five-point stencil cell like this, we need to know the rank ID of the neighbor cells at the up, down, left, and right direction. By this way, we could index the neighbor cells, fetch the variable value stored at each neighbor cell, and calculate the new value at the center position. If we use coordinates to index the mesh, it is easy to get all the neighbor cells. For two-dimensional mesh, if the coordinates of the current cell is x and y, then the neighbor cell is x minus 1 and y, x plus 1 and y, x and y minus 1, x and y plus 1. But the underlying index is the rank ID, which is in one-dimensional space. Therefore, in order to get the value from the specific MPI process, we need to map the coordinates into the rank ID. This is a kind of reverse process compared with the MPI Cartesian crate. So, how to convert the coordinate into the rank ID? For example, if the dimension array is a 2D array like this, the rank ID is calculated by two for loops. If we use the X to represent the horizontal axis and its Y to represent the vertical axis, if the current ID for the current MPI process is say ID, the ID of the up cell is say ID plus 1, the down cell is say ID minus 1, the left cell ID is say ID minus dimension 1, and the right cell is say ID plus dimension 1 and we do not consider the boundary cells for this step. The calculation is getting complicated if we process the mesh in three dimensions, and we may need to calculate the rank ID by using the function like this. The MPI Cartesian provides simple interface to help us to calculate the rank ID of the neighbor cells directly. This interface is called MPI Shift and it is something like this. The first parameter is the communicator generated by the Cartesian create. The second parameter labels the direction or the dimension we want to target. And the third parameter is the distance between the neighbor cell and the current cell. The rank, the rank source and the rank dust are the outputs. They are tricky to understand at the first glance, so let's look at an example firstly. Let's look at this example. We generate the coordinates by using MPI Cartesian create and Cartesian co coordinates firstly. Then when the rank equals to 7, we use MPI Cartesian shift to calculate the neighbor cells. There are two lines here. For the first line, we calculate the uh, cell ID on the first dimension. So the ID here, so the dimension here, I mean direction here is zero, which means it is the first value in our dimension array. For the second one, it is one. It means you will. Uh, it means we will target on the second dimension in our dimension array, and the source and dust is the specific ID, the specific cell ID. 
we want to calculate. The idea is calculated correctly. Another thing is that if we change this parameter to the negative one, we could also get the ID, but the cell ID is in different order. That's how the how this parameter work. There are two there are two methods for this, there are two typical patterns for this method. The first is called the upward shift, which means the ID increase from the small number to the large number. Another is a downward shift, which means the ID increase decrease from the large number to the small number. When it is downward shift, the this parameter, I mean the third parameter is negative value, and we could associate the uh, rank source and rank dest with the meaningful variable name such as the west, east, down, up, and south, north. This is how it is used in real use case. I believe you have already understand how to use MPI Cartesian shift to calculate the boundary cells in two-dimension and three-dimension mesh. Maybe you will ask, for the boundary cell like the number eight, what is the next value? I mean, what is a no? What is a boundary? What what is the neighbor cells? What is the ID of the neighbor cells for this one? Because the this cell is already the, at the boundary location. How to solve this? Uh, let's go back to MPI Cartesian crate. There is an important parameter called periodical. If we set the value for periodical array as one for specific dimension. It means that the next value of the boundary case will jump back to the first value. So for this case, the next value in the vertical di vertical direction will jump back to the first value. So the next value of the number eight will be the number six. This is the output. We could say that the dimension two test is number six, which is actually the first element in this direction. Okay, basically that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.